Hey guys, so as promised, I said I would do a video showing you guys exactly how to do your Instagram, turn your Instagram profile or add another account and then turn your Instagram profile to a professional profile. Um, This video basically shows everything that you should do so you won't have any, um, you know, problem doing it. I, however, have too much account added to my Instagram, so I'm not allowed to have any more. I think you can only have up, um, I think you can only have about five. Um, one thing I want to mention, though, before I forget, <coughs> is that you don't necessarily have to do your, your, um, Facebook account right now, because once you turn, once you turn your personal account into a business account which I don't advise or once you add a new account and turn it into your business account you automatically will be asked to create a Facebook account right which I suggest you create it at the same time using the same name as your Instagram business account <coughs> excuse me guys so um this is just an example of what your business account should look like you can do it in your way however you feel comfortable but try to ensure that it looks professional as possible if you have not launched as yet always remember to put coming soon always remember to have at least one or two posts with coming soon and um a post showing the product the first product our first three to four products that you will launch i recommend to launch three to four products first at a time um i tend to myself i tend to overdo it sometimes in um launching and launching new products and that is where that's a stage that i am at tr um trying not to launch so much product you know in a short period of time because <clears throat> i'm still learning guys i'm still learning but at the end of the day i want to share my experience with you guys with you guys so that you don't make those um, mistakes that i made when starting out hence this video and the previous videos before um talking about you know getting started um, my next video hopefully will be about finding your vendor so it will possibly be a possibly be a video just like this of finding your vendor or a video of me I'm not sure that <clears throat> but yeah um, we're gonna go find our vendor now in our next video um, you can use you can use Alibaba or Instagram. Um, I recommend starting with Instagram first, which I did. If you only have your um, when you're first contacting your vendors, do not give them your personal number. Give them your your email address when you feel comfortable with them and you um, you buy your sample and you decide that well, this is a vendor I want to start with give them your per you can give them your whatsapp if you don't have whatsapp go download it go on itunes or on your your i'm sorry guys <clears throat> your phone <clears throat> your app store and download that app so you will have it already ready and available to use because the vendors mostly use whatsapp and also ensure to them and ensure and also god i'm so tired i'm sorry guys <laughs> um please uh what was i gonna say oh my god i'm trying to look look at what i'm doing right here luxury 3d mink lashes coming soon um handcrafted yes and you don't necessarily have to do it like exactly as how i am doing it because you don't want to look um like you are copying 
off of someone else's profile you know and everybody need every brand needs a a, a, a slang or a motto or whatever you call it um you know slay like a boss uh, pretty girls or pretty things whatever whatever your company is gonna be selling you know or who your company is gonna be selling to the age group it depending on the age group that you're gonna be selling to that's how you should think about or who you want to sell to that's how you should think about making your slang or your motto so if you're gonna if you're gonna say something like baddies wear bad lashes, you know that's gonna be for a certain group of people, a certain age, or a certain age group of persons. So you have to you have to everything in your business. You have to listen. You have to listen. You have to do your research. You have to take your time um, when doing your research. And you know if you already have everything together. You have the money to do your launch, etc., etc. I guess you can go ahead. But for persons like me who, you know, who are doing it on their own, who does not have the money to buy a large inventory to put down, who do, who who doesn't have the money to employ or hire a Instagram manager are marketers you know if you don't have that type of money because some persons have that type of money and that's how the, you see their company shoot up like super fast for small brands like myself a single mother like myself and other girls women who are doing this and men who are doing this on them on their own with little to no money you have to take your time taking your time ensures a smooth and big launch for a small business so yeah um i recommend taking your time doing your research and trying you won't get everything right the first time but learn from your mistakes and you'll be fine you'll be fine Oh, and for right here, I do not think, I wouldn't recommend putting the hashtag right now until you launch the hashtag, um, tag, tag so-and-so to be featured on your page when they buy your product. Um, I would only recommend it after your launch and not when you are setting up your business page. Wait, are we all done? yes guys and this is it we're all done very easy and simple very simple and easy no i think you're gonna edit let me see your personal profile there is a personal section um in edit profile where you put your personal information so instagram can contact you if your if they feel as if your profile is being hacked into or if something isn't right and it's also uh it's also good to give them your personal in your i'm sorry guys to give them your <coughs> number so they can send you a message i never liked that idea at first but i keep i keep forgetting my password a lot of times because i used to sign out of instagram and sign in every time i know it sounds stupid but i used to sign in every time sign out and sign in every time because i didn't used to use before my business i didn't used to use instagram that often and you know then i realized this is a waste of time because i keep forgetting my password and i've always been changing it changing it changing it so um giving my putting my number on my on the private section of your edit profile is much easier when you forget your password i think that's it all done and we are all done guys thank you for watching my video don't forget to subscribe